Did you know that trout farming contributes to over 80% of all freshwater fish consumption in the U.S.? That's right, the crispy trout fillets you relish at your favorite restaurant or the smoked trout you snack on during picnics could very likely have been raised on a trout farm. Welcome to Farming Know-How, where we explore the ins and outs of modern farming practices. Today, we're diving into the world of trout farming, a sector that is not only economically significant, but also environmentally sustainable. Trout farming, or aquaculture, is a dynamic industry that has grown by leaps and bounds over the past few decades. It's a fascinating blend of science, technology, and good old-fashioned know-how that's helping to feed a growing global population in a sustainable way. The economic significance of trout farming is undeniable. With the demand for healthy, high-quality protein sources on the rise, trout farming plays a crucial role in meeting this need. In fact, the U.S. trout industry generates hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue annually, providing livelihoods for thousands of people across the country. But it's not just about the economics. Trout farming also presents an opportunity to conserve wild fish populations and protect our aquatic ecosystems. By raising trout on farms, we can reduce the pressure on wild fish stocks and help maintain the health and diversity of our waterways. So, why should you be interested in trout farming? Well, whether you're a budding entrepreneur looking to get into the aquaculture business, a hobbyist interested in setting up your own backyard trout pond, or simply a curious mind seeking to understand where your food comes from, there's something in this for you. And remember, you're watching Farming Know How, your go to source for all things farming. If you're finding this content interesting and want to learn more, do us a favor and hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Stay tuned as we dive deeper into the fascinating world of trout farming. To understand trout farming, we need to start with the basics, the life cycle of a trout. The life of a trout begins as a tiny egg nestled in the gravel of freshwater streams. After about two weeks, these eggs hatch into what we call fry. The fry stay close to their birthplace, feeding on microscopic organisms while they grow and develop. As weeks turn into months, the fry transform into fingerlings. This is the stage when they start resembling adult trout, albeit in a miniature form. They are agile swimmers and voracious eaters, feeding on insects and smaller fish to fuel their growth. Finally, after two to three years, the fingerlings mature into fully grown adult trout. These adults are ready to spawn and continue the cycle of life. They lay their eggs and the cycle begins anew, from egg to fry, from fingerling to adult. Knowing the life cycle is fundamental to successful trout farming. Setting up your trout farm is the first step towards a successful aquaculture venture. Now that we've dived into the fascinating life cycle of a trout, it's time to focus on where these aquatic wonders will be growing. The location of your trout farm is crucial. Remember, trout thrive in cool, clean water, so a water source that can maintain a temperature between 10 and 20 degrees Celsius year-round is ideal. This could be a spring, well, or even a cool stream. But it's not just about the water source. You also need to consider the surrounding environment. Is it prone to floods or drought? How about the soil quality? These factors can greatly impact the health and productivity of your trout farm. Moving on, let's talk about the types of equipment needed. While the specific requirements may vary depending on the size and type of your farm, there are some basics you'll need. First, you're going to need tanks or raceways. These are where your trout will live and grow. Next up is aeration systems. Trout need oxygen to survive, and these systems help ensure that the water in your tanks or raceways is well oxygenated. This is especially important in the warmer months when oxygen levels naturally drop. And then we have feeders. These devices help you distribute feed efficiently and evenly, which is crucial for the growth and health of your trout. Remember, a well-fed trout is a happy trout, but setting up your farm doesn't stop there. You also need to think about waste management, disease control, and many other aspects that we'll cover in our next video. In the end, setting up a trout farm is like setting up a home. It's about creating a comfortable, safe, and nurturing environment where your trout can grow and thrive. It requires commitment, planning, and a deep understanding of the needs of your trout. A well-set-up farm is the foundation of healthy and productive trout. So take the time to plan, prepare, and set up your trout farm properly. It will not only lead to healthier trout but also a more successful and rewarding aquaculture venture. Now that you have your farm set up, let's talk about how to manage it. Managing a trout farm is a balancing act that requires constant attention and care. Water quality is the lifeblood of your trout farm. Maintaining the right water temperature, oxygen levels, and pH balance is essential. 
Trout thrive in water temperatures of about 10 to 15 degrees Celsius, and oxygen levels should always be above 5 milligrams per liter. Any changes in these conditions can stress your trout, leading to poor growth and increased susceptibility to disease. So, it's crucial to monitor your water conditions regularly and adjust as necessary. Next up is feeding. Trout have a hearty appetite, and feeding them a balanced diet is key to their growth and health. You'll want to feed them high-quality trout pellets, rich in protein. The amount of feed depends on the size of the trout and the water temperature. A common rule of thumb is to feed them 1% of their body weight per day during colder months and up to 3% during warmer months. Monitoring for disease is another crucial aspect of trout farming management. Regular health checks can help you spot signs of common trout diseases like whirling disease or bacterial gill disease. Early detection and treatment can make a significant difference in preventing the spread of disease and keeping your trout population healthy. Finally, let's talk about managing reproduction. If you're planning to breed your trout, you'll need to separate them into different tanks based on their sex and age. This allows you to control the breeding process and ensure a healthy and diverse population. Breeding can be a complex process, but with careful management, you can successfully raise your trout from eggs to adults. In conclusion, effective trout farming management involves maintaining water quality, feeding your trout a balanced diet, monitoring for diseases, and managing reproduction. Remember, your trout are living creatures that require care and attention. With proper management, you can ensure a healthy and thriving trout population. Proper management ensures a healthy and thriving trout population. You've raised your trout, now it's time to reap the rewards. The journey of trout farming doesn't end at simply raising the fish. Harvesting and marketing are equally crucial steps to ensure your venture turns a profit. Let's start with harvesting. Ideally, trout should be harvested early in the morning or late in the evening during cooler temperatures. This reduces the stress on the fish and results in better quality meat. Remember, the aim is to keep the fish healthy and stress-free until the very last moment. A common method of harvesting trout is by employing a sen or a net, which is gently swept across the pond to gather the fish. The trout are then sorted by size and transported to a chilling unit to maintain optimum freshness. Now let's move on to marketing, which is often the most challenging part for many new trout farmers. The first step is to identify your target market. Are you aiming to sell to restaurants, fish markets, or directly to consumers? Each market segment has different requirements and price points. Next, it's all about showcasing the quality of your trout. Highlight the factors that make your trout stand out such as their diet, the quality of your water, and your sustainable farming practices. These factors can justify a premium price for your trout. Packaging is another key aspect of marketing. It's not just about keeping the fish fresh, but also about presenting them in a way that appeals to your customers. A well-packaged product can command a higher price. Lastly, don't underestimate the power of relationships in the business world. Cultivate relationships with your buyers, be it restaurant owners, market vendors, or individual consumers. Regular communication and reliable service can go a long way in securing repeat orders and referrals. Remember, a successful trout farming venture is not just about raising the fish, but also about harvesting them properly and marketing them effectively. With proper harvesting and marketing, your trout farming venture can be a lucrative business. Trout farming can be a rewarding venture if done right. And just like that, we have journeyed through the fascinating world of trout farming. From the humble beginnings of a trout's life cycle to the rewarding process of harvesting and marketing your trout. Remember, understanding the trout's life cycle is essential. It is the foundation upon which all the other stages are built. Setting up your trout farm is the next critical step. Your farm's environment plays a significant role in the growth and survival of your trout. Once your farm is set up, managing it effectively is paramount. Regular monitoring, proper feeding, and efficient water management are all crucial elements. Lastly, harvesting and marketing your trout. This is where all your hard work pays off. It's essential to know when and how to harvest and how to market your trout effectively. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Farming Know How for more farming insights.